the government's dietary evolution. I don't know if you guys know this, but the um, recommended daily, daily allowance became the recommended dietary intake. That's <laughs> the food pyramid became the food plate. Not much has changed. In fact, I was looking at the food plate, and what they're saying is a healthy, balanced meal, you know, grains, fruits, vegetables, dairy, you know, there wasn't really much to it. It didn't give too much information. But what I realized is it's very unbalanced, meaning what you have is a very low-fat diet, hardly any fat. I mean, the fat that exists pretty much is in the dairy. And it's not a balanced meal, but that's kind of where the government's at. So um, obviously, we've got some, some uh, we have to figure these things out on our own. Functions of phytonutrients, these super nutrients that are in plants. How many fruits and vegetables should you eat a day? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, there was, yeah, you bring up an interesting point there because 13, that's probably a pretty good number. I remember there was a website, it was fiveaday.gov. Now, fiveaday.gov did get replaced, so they are thinking about things. Things that got replaced by the nineaday.gov. Uh, that site's not up anymore. I think they just didn't know where to go with it from there. But most people would say about 13 servings of fruits and vegetables. Now, when it comes to these nutrients in these plant foods, there are so many different nutrients. In fact, they have seven major classifications of, of phytonutrients. Um, you know, if you've heard of the terpenes and uh, the organic acids and the organosulfur, seven major classifications. If you take just one of those called terpenes, there's four major subclassifications. Uh, one of those being carotenoids, and there's something like 400 carotenoids, just of the one subclassification of the classification of the bigger from the seven. There's literally thousands of phytonutrients, many that we haven't discovered yet. So how do you make sure you're getting all these important nutrients? Probably 13 servings of fruits and vegetables, making sure all the different colors are represented, right? I have a little list of things that they do. They act as antioxidants. Uh, cell apoptosis. Did you know that there's phytonutrients that can actually like target cancer cells and cause them to die? Uh, detoxification. They stimulate the immune system. There's phytonutrients that regulate hormones. There's uh, some that are antibacterial and antiviral. They facilitate intercellular communication, uh, brain, affecting the brain and memory. You know, that reminds me of a particular patient that we put on a phytonutrient supplement. It was actually, uh, you know, when I started realizing I was taking the supplement and I was feeling different, one of my patients came in and she was kind of depressed. And I said, well, you know, here, take this. And all of a sudden she didn't feel like she needed her antidepressants anymore. But about a week later, I remember she came in just a little bit sad and I said, what's going on? She said, well, my father, he's, um, they're going to move him to our house. I don't think he's going to survive the trip. He's coming home to die. He's on hospice and, you know, end stage Alzheimer's. Well, my thought is, give him that, this supplement too, fruits and vegetables. Let's liven him up. And I remember she came to me a couple days later, you know, ever since we gave that to him, he's like perking up. Can I give him more? You know, it's just fruits and vegetables. That's all it is. It's just powdered fruits and vegetables. You know, yeah, give it to them three, four times a day. It doesn't matter. And they did. Well, on hospice, you don't get put on hospice unless you're, you know, planning on dying within a couple weeks. But this particular gentleman at 89 years old with end-stage Alzheimer's, she came in a few weeks later saying, it's amazing. He's actually sitting up on his own strength and starting to have all these lucid moments again. <coughs> Phytonutrients one of their functions is intercellular communication, helping your body communicate with itself. And in his case, at that age, started turning on his brain again. And he went on to live another two years and uh, died when, I think when he was 91. Um, so that was just one of those powerful things that said, okay, we gotta get more of these nutrients in our body. Um, they convert to other nutrients. They repair DNA damage from toxic exposure. Uh, they prevent diabetes, cardiovascular disease, they prevent stroke, they reduce inflammation, they strengthen bones, they increase energy, they decrease food cravings. Phytonutrients are important. So how do you get enough? Um, 13 servings, all the colors represented. 
pretty good start. And we talked about a little bit about organic versus conventional. Certainly worth the extra money. Thank you.